Hello, hi, it's your girl Mince Pie. This pack was most definitely up there in the chaotic packs that I've tried to purchase before. You know, that includes your Nike Air Money currency pack and your Air Max 97 country camera pack. Like, those were two packs that I really, I genuinely really tried to cop from both of these packs. I managed to get one. Buying packs is definitely more of a task and at a point you kind of have to sell for whatever you know is given to you and to be honest there was no settling because this was all that was available. No one else was doing raffles. The first colorway of this pack which was pistachio only released in America and I believe it was only in store as well and you had to take an LA driver's license or something along the lines like I remember reading the terms and conditions on the website and I said well. The next two colorways are going and Court Purple released a month later but Argon was only on sneakers and Court Purple was everywhere as if there were raffles all over the place. I mean I entered a raffle for Court Purple because I said you know I want something from this pack you know give, give me something you know I, at this point I don't care what colorway I really like this pack. I thought that maybe I could dub two and maybe sneakers will you know have some favour but no. I mean as much as I love sneakers, thank you so much for working with me. Um, I'm still not copying. I mean, can you just rig the system? Like, <laughs> get my email, just <laughs> slide it in there <laughs> because I'm still suffering. We digress, I was able to cop one to God be the glory. So this is the review of my Nike Union Dunk Clothes in the colorway, Court Purple. As you can see, little matchy matchy going on i mean different shades but we digress this cop was from offspring in selfridges first of all this box is it this is the moment what to get into the box the box is actually supposed to look like a whole boarding pass which i mean yes it makes perfect sense you have name of passenger from and to so you can even customize this yourself and like fill it in you know if you wanted to this is i think i think this is a great way to stop resellers as well if a store wanted you to write on your shoe box you know we've seen it all so if a store wanted you to write on the shoe box or they were going to write on it i think you should be given the opportunity to take the pen the sharpie or whatever and fill it in so i would definitely write on this box because it's mine. Name Pastor Mince Pie from Nige to London, even though I was born here, but you know. Gate C, I think this is a really nice way to customize it, as well as stop your resellers if you know you wanted to do all of that. But I mean, it's, it's past now, isn't it? Like, <laughs> you know, if you wanted to do it, you should have done it. So, this is a night collaboration with Union, if you don't already know. Um, they are based in Los Angeles. So, just to break down the box on the side of the box, um, the name of the passenger is Black Towel, but it says from Los Angeles to Beaverton. Oregon, which is obviously where the Nike headquarters are. I think this is a really nice way to take note of a collaboration like two forces coming together by shipping from Los Angeles, the Union store, over to the Nike headquarters. I think that's really smart. On the side, we do have our size chart as per usual. On the other side, it displays passenger ticket and baggage check, subject to conditions of contract on the reverse side. On this side, we have the date of issue, the place of issue, which it says Nike Incorporated and Union LA. Um, it has a fly open, class day open. It literally is giving us everything like and I, I love it it also says it is unlawful to purchase or resell this ticket from any entity other than the issuing carrier or its authorized agents i mean they done did said it they said it the green print actually reminds me more of like what you would find on your passport you know on your passport um in the pages like the pages aren't plain white like they've got this really nice pattern running through it and this is you know this is how i imagine my passport if anything so i know that they obviously have the flight details like what you would find on your boarding pass but on my boarding pass my boarding pass doesn't really have all this nice little pattern so mixed signals there you know what i mean but i think that's just coming from a designer's brain um 
and maybe I'm just looking at my form of boarding pass that I've got on. My form of boarding pass have been plain white. I can't remember the last time I had a paper boarding pass, so like always have it on my app, like on the Virgin app or on my wallet or something. But I know that this print behind is supposed to replicate what you would find in your passport, but the information on it is more boarding pass. I mean, maybe it's being picky, but regardless, I don't care. I love it. I love the box. On the reverse side, we do have the Union and Nike logo merged into one. It is just your printed graphic on the box, so the box does have a very smooth touch to it. It's definitely coated. It's not your typical raw cardboard box. The UN slash LA is in foil blocking on top of this, so it does give it a nice touch and makes it stand out more, as well as the icon on the side that merges the Union and Nike logo together stop it little stamps that they put in your passport you don't get these stamps on your boarding ticket you get on your passport so i feel as though they're merging the two in one like because it's a passport pack which obviously makes sense you know for the passport print but then the boarding ticket on top is you know not, not found in your passport but i'm still i don't care i love it you know this is the type of paper that i would take out of the box and actually frame ah! why am i so excited this paper is amazing. I would frame this. For sure I would frame this. When um, these companies do collabs, they should think about their work as literally a piece of art. This is a piece of art. And I feel as though when it's collabs, don't just think of it as just the shoe needs to shine. The box, the wrapping, the promotion, everything needs to shine with it. I really wonder if it actually went through all these places. I really wonder. Barbados, come on, okay, here it goes all these places. <laughs> here it goes. There's even the stamps of 2012, 2013. But I really wonder what this, because the stamps signify something. They do. And I want to know why. And if you know why, let me know. Someone should be able to walk away from your collaboration saying that this is too nice to throw away or this is too nice to sell. You know what I mean? Oh, stop it. And all in all, Oh, the box has its own character and I absolutely love it. I am so happy I made this purchase. It was worth it. <sighs> Shut up. Yeah? I did. I did prefer the Argon colorway. I did. But... These, oh, mm. summertime, stop it. Additionally, I love, absolutely love this tag. It says Nike in collaboration with Union. And you can actually, can you? Wait, oh my gosh, you can. <gasps> God, can you? Yeah, you can snap it off. I can actually snap it off. Like an actual boarding pass, but I don't want to. Yeah. This is your baggage claim check. It has a sorting symbol and then it has your Nike ID, your UN ID, Nike in collaboration with Union. Normally, I'm one to keep these type of things on it, like little um, novelties and stuff that I normally keep it on. But I mean, I'm gonna look pretty stupid if I keep that on. But um, let's get into the shoe. So there's this white mesh netting that's found around the whole shoe, but underneath is leather. The toe box has a dark rich purple underneath the white mesh. Underneath the toe box, we do just have the white mesh on white leather. In the midsection, that rich purple comes in again with the white mesh on top. The back heel has the rich purple on top of the white leather that's used to tie into the eye stay. The eye stay area that wraps all the way around to the back is also white leather with the white mesh on top. We have the Union logo on a plastic white circle in purple with purple outline as well. The back heel has the illusion that it is netting but it's not. Actually one printed material in this plastic glossy white colour and the Nike logo is in yellow embossed onto this material the swoosh is made out of that exact same material with double yellow stitching carried on throughout the whole shoe as well as one line of white stitching on top of that double stitching i really like the subtleness of that yellow it isn't so loud and in your face it's a nice little drop of yellow inside the shoe even though the areas with the white mesh have the rich dark purple underneath them 
I think it's perfect as it is. I know a lot of people have been ripping it away and cutting away. You can do that. So you can reveal these areas like your common tearaways and all of the customization additions that Nike has been bringing to their shoes, um, especially of lately. Um, so you can remove that mesh. I will not be because I really like it as it is. They are giving LA to the core. That purple and yellow, how much more LA can you get? In a, that's what it's telling me. It's shouting LA at me in a very subtle manner. And I love it. Yes, I know Nike's quality have not been the greatest. The quality control, yeah, it's been in the bin lately. I can't even lie to you. But this is intentional, all right? Um, we do have these loose pieces of thread. I don't really mind it, I like it. I think it gives it a bit of character. And to be fair with my Sean Weatherspoons, like the thread is completely flowing off onto the floor. So am I really gonna complain about these intentional thread flyaways? Like I'm not, you know what I mean? They come with white laces on a white tongue. I think the white laces are perfectly fine. There is an option to change to purple, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I like the white as it is and I don't think I would change it to grey or black or cream or yellow. No, I think it's perfect how it is. Night Tongue has a purple fabric with the Nike logo stitched in yellow with the insole being the dark rich purple once again and the Union LA logo found on top of this insole in yellow. The side shot is hidden pretty deep inside but you know, okay. We do have a tiny tab here that says UN slash LA. And the sole, the sole's where it's at. The sole is what a lot of people have been talking about. The material that is found on the swoosh, so it's not the square netting, it's more of the um, diamond netting, should we say? Um, it's a diamond netting in this purple gum sole. Your regular pattern in regards to the actual cut of the sole. But underneath, on top of that mesh, that mesh pattern underneath it, can you see? we've got the union logo i think it's in orange not even in yellow i think it looks great and if you want to do cheeky prop up your foot pictures i mean go for it all in all i think that the shoe is beautiful it's gorgeous like this shoe is open to a lot of customization if that means you're pulling away that mesh go for it if it means you're customizing the box go for it like i feel as though they can be personalized as a gift as well really nicely you can hand this over to your bay and be like oh the flight we're taking is to go to hawaii date in a week babe get packing well you better not say a week i'm sorry give your babe more than a week to get her fits together um from heathrow terminal four i think that's a real i'm I'm, am I that? Am I? Am I the moment? In regards to your Nike Air Dunk Lows, um, I am comfortable with the 5.5, I believe. I'm like that with Jordans as well. Like, I think as though it's just those that I'm just a bit, mm, let's go the extra mile, but then in everything else I'm a five, a comfortable five as well. 5.5 .5 was comfortable for me. I know I could have done a five, but I feel as though I'm okay, like I'm happy with my 5.5. Um, there's a little bit of padding, just a little bit, um, but it's a little bit for comfortability, not a little bit like suffocating your foot. They look good. They look good on foot. I'm very happy with what they look like. My feet look nice, small, tiny, you know, all that lovely stuff. And um, yeah, I think that they just look absolutely gorgeous and they're perfect and ready for summertime. The retail price for these was £165. For everything that you get and how amazing the shoe is and that the pack is just so, it's just bursting with character, I think that was a fair price in my personal opinion. Dunks are getting a little bit more expensive, like £165. That's the price I would pay for Jordan 1 or less, you know, so I get that it does sound a bit mad. It does sound a bit crazy, a bit bonkers, but nonetheless i personally think it was worth the cop i really like them i really like them like i can't even find a fault even if i wanted to find a fault i can't they're just oh magnifique anyway guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share all them things there and i will see you in the next one stay blessed stay sweet and stay safe